unto the Lord all the days of his life. And there shall no razor come upon his head. Verse 20. Wherefore it came to pass when the time was come about after Hannah has conceived that she bear a son and call his name Samuel. Say because I have asked him of the Lord. First Samuel chapter 2. Chapter 2 from verse 1. Chapter 2 from verse 1. And Hannah prayed and said, My horn, my heart rather rejoiced in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over my enemy. Because I rejoice in thy salvation. There is no holy as the Lord. For there is no beside thee. Neither is there any rock like our God. Talk no more exceedingly proudly. Let not arrogancy come out from your mouth. For the, God, for the Lord is a God of knowledge. And by him actions are waged. The bowels of the mighty men are broken. And they that stumble are guided with strength. They that were full have hired themselves for bread. And they that were hungry ceased. So that the body had born seven. And she that has many children are was feeble. The Lord killeth. And the Lord maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave. Lifted up. The Lord make the poor and make the rich. He bring low and he lift up. He raise up the poor out of the dust. And lift up the beggar from the donkey. To set them among priests. And to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillar of the earth is the Lord. And he has set the wall upon them. Verse 9. He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. And the, for by strength shall no man prevail. Verse 10, the last verse. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken in two pieces. Out of heaven shall it turn down upon them. The Lord shall judge the end of the earth. And he shall give strength unto his kings and exalt the home of his anointed. Mm -hmm. Sir, please come and pray for me. Father, breathe upon your soul. Let his words be immortal words. Let them not be ordinary. Let it pierce our spirit, soul, our body, and repair whatever needs to be repaired. You said, he who misses the sword of Elisha shall be hit by the sword of Jehu. Those that you could not reach even in the morning administration, let the sword of Macaulay hit them. Let those enemies be scattered. Let God be exalted here today. Speak through him, Lord, in Jesus' name. Can we celebrate our Father? When I was preparing for this meeting, since a Friday, I was contemplating on what will I speak. And God said, go and tell them that that affliction you have been carrying from January to this time and I will no longer continue with you. I want to speak on the topic I titled, this affliction will not continue with me. If you are living so that I cannot hear better, amen. Can you help me preach to three persons and tell them this affliction will no longer continue with me. This affliction will not continue with me. I want to make a declaration into 25 lives. 
hear the sound of my voice I tell from the grace of our father here I don't know any affliction that you have been battling I don't know any problem that you have been facing I don't know any worries that you have been battling today shall mark the end 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 every affliction in your body every affliction in your in your, in, your, in your stomach every affliction in your family every affliction in your home but there shall not the end 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 I don't know what you are battling with I don't know the problem I don't know the battle I don't know the circumstances but I came here this morning voice of Jehovah in the name of Jesus the son of the living God shall call to an echo day that affliction shall come to an end that problem shall come to an end that sickness shall come to an end if you are here can I hear me like thunder this affliction will not continue with me ladies and gentlemen sit down this morning that life is a battle life is a confrontation can i tell you many people are in this life they are facing many challenges many people with different challenges it is not the problem you are facing that i am facing am i communicating with somebody it is not a battle you are facing that i'm facing everybody has battle to fight that is why the book of john he said a man is born in no problem a man is born in no trouble so that is what God said I should tell you this money I don't know any problem that you have found yourself I don't know any confrontation you have found yourself I don't know every challenge you have found yourself God shall put an end God shall put an end Let me hear me like thunder. Help me preach to somebody and say, An end has come. An end has come. An end has come. An end has come. Different people with different challenges. You will see a doctor today. He's a doctor, but without a child. It's a problem. It's an affliction. A fine woman without no husband is an affliction. Affliction brings limitation. If a man is afflicted, he will be limited. Am I communicating here? When a man is afflicted, he cannot move forward. Are you here with me? He cannot move forward. And I don't know every affliction that I'll be following you from January to this time around. I join faith with my father and the Lord to make a declaration for those who believe. For those who believe, not everybody. For those who believe that every affliction you have been facing from January to this time around shall expire shall expire the bible says in where we read from i will be brief in where we read from the bible said that there was a woman called hannah a woman called hannah all of us here know this know the story of hannah Ekana married two wives one was Pelina and the other was Hannah. And the Bible says that Hannah had no child, but Pelina had many what? Children. Had many children. Hannah was in affliction. Hannah was in tears. The duty of Pelina.
was for her to make sure since she is the second wife to make sure she console she encouraged this woman but what did he do was mocking laughing meanwhile she was going to the church can i tell you here Pelina is a good name you can have a good name and have a bad heart am i communicating here it doesn't matter your name it is not the name it is the heart Pelina was going to church but yet her heart was wicked I found out the spiritual meaning of Berlin. I found out that Berlin's spiritual meaning is precious stone. How can something that is precious have a wicked heart? And that is why, sir, I found out that there are many people that have bad name, but their heart is good. Many people are in church. Many people are hearing sermons, but their heart is wicked. That's why the Bible said that the heart of man. See, it is not by the name, it is the heart. It said the heart of man are desperately wicked. So you can be coming to church. You can be hearing Bible study. You can be closer to the pastor. That does not mean that he can change your heart. Am I communicating with somebody? It doesn't mean that your heart can change. It doesn't mean that you can be changed. Until a man receives a counter, his heart cannot be changed. Are you here with me? If you are here with me, say, I am here. The heart. The problem of man is the heart. The heart. Is the heart. When you read your Bible carefully, you find out that Solomon has a good heart. When he married many wives, is your is your Sunday school manual? I think the last from January to uh, June, you find out the topic there. Solomon has a good heart, but the Bible said that the wife turned. Are you with me? There are many people today that they have good hearts. When they come to church, they just connected with friends that change their hearts. You don't understand what I'm saying. He said Solomon had good heart, but his wife turned. And that is why it is hard for God to bless his people. It's not said that God cannot bless. That is why it is hard for God to prosper people. The truth is that if he gives you, will you still continue with him? That is why God will give you average so that you can still be worshipping him. When God gives you beyond what he should give you, you will leave the church. You are not here with me. Is it <laughs> is the truth? Are you here with me? Is the truth? So before God blesses a man, you first of all check his heart. Whether the heart is right. There is a kind of car God will give you now. You, you say, my reverend, they drive this kind of car like me. Pride will come. So for pride not to come, God will not give you that kind of car. Until you are matured enough. It's the heart. Somebody put your right hand on your heart. Say, God, help my heart. It's the heart. So the Bible says that Pelina, instead of her to be encouraging, instead of her to help this woman, she was mocking, she was laughing. I don't know who I've laughed at you. From today henceforward, they shall celebrate with you. Am I communicating here? She was laughing. Laughing. Mocking this woman. I mean, while she was a church member. Meanwhile, she was hearing sermon every day. Are you with me? Meanwhile, she was hearing messages every day. There are many of us that have been hearing message 
for 20 years now, we are still continuing in what we are doing. How long will you continue on your slavery? How long? How long? How long? I came to talk to you this morning. I wanted to change the message, but God insists and say, preach this one. So I came to talk to you this morning. How long will you continue in your slavery? How long? I was hearing our father was saying just now that Bible study, look at many people, look at few people that came. When your heart is connected to God, before that time you will be here. I'm telling you the truth. When your heart is connected to God, before the time of Bible study, you will be here. Nobody will force a man that has a counter. Are you with me? Nobody will force a man that has a counter. Until Isaiah receive a counter, he said, no, I am a dumb. I am a man of a cleaning. In the year King Uzziah died, I too, I saw. It is what you saw that convinced you. You are not here with me. What you saw has the ability to convince you. He said, in the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon the throne. Isaiah chapter 6 from verse 1. What you saw. I want you to see God this morning, not the preacher. I want you to see God this morning, not the church. Any word that is released from the mouth of your man of God, it is when you believe it. If you have not seen God in the first place, you will not believe it. Because most of the times, we think that what he is saying is strange. It's not strange, sir. There is an encounter he has received that you have not received. The difference between you and him is a counter. Are you here with me? It's an encounter. The Bible says that though they were laughing at Hannah, though they were mocking her, she was waiting on God, yet she was crying, yet she was in tears. Can I tell you here, don't give up when people laugh at you because your waiting time is not your wasting time. Am I communicating here? Your waiting time is not your wasting time. It's not your wasting time. She was looking unto Jesus. Ah. She was looking unto Jesus. The Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. You didn't come to look at the pastor in the church. Am I communicating here? No, no. You came to look unto him. You came to look unto him. Look unto Jesus that can help you. If your affliction must go, you must look unto God. Look unto God. There are people that are difficult to talk to. Even when you preach the word of God, their heart cannot carry it because their heart is not right. Difficult to talk to. Difficult to believe. No matter how you pray, it's not... I learned that where I am, I don't, I don't, I don't bother anymore. Because I found that it is not the problem of the pastor, it is the problem of the people. be laboring day and night. <laughs> ah, you know, when I 
don't have a church yet. That is when I thought that pastor work is just. Are you with me? Oh, oh, I can tell you the truth. It is when I had the church, I knew that there is a, a higher demand. Not that one we're doing here, a higher demand. There is a higher demand. I tell you the truth. There is a higher demand. So, it is not the problem of the pastor. The pastor will do his duty. There are many of you here, you are complaining. Pastor, pray for me. This will not go. Is it bad for you to fast for yourself? Hello? Is it bad for you to pray for yourself? When people are connected, the work will be easy for the men of God. Are you with me? Connection. This woman, the Bible said that although they were laughing at her, yet she was keep trusting in the Lord. Though she was sharing tears, yet she was looking unto the one that has sent him, sent her into this world. You are not the one that sent yourself. Help me tell your neighbor, I am not alone. You are not the one that sent yourself. It is somebody that sent you. Any time problem come, run to him. It because when you disconnect from your source, you, you will crash. The one that has sent you, run to him. The Bible said that Hannah, when she saw all this problem, when she saw all these circumstances, she found out, he said, this one is stronger than me. She looked unto Jesus. She said, I will call upon God. In this problem, in this affliction, Hannah prayed unto God. He said, oh God, if thou we indeed look on my affliction, if thou we indeed look on my problem, if thou we indeed look on the circumstances I am facing, and remember me, I am an If thou we remember me, I don't know many of you that are here. I came to stir up the waters this morning. I came to stir up your hunger. I came to talk to you. Anywhere you have left him, go back to him. Are you with me? I came to tell you this morning that anywhere you are disconnected from your source. Because when you are disconnected, any little problem that men tell you will disconnect you from him. You don't need to be disconnected from God. Hannah, she was connected to God. And she said, if thou we indeed look on my affliction, she was praying there, fasting, praying, oh God, if thou we indeed remember me. God cannot remember you until you take the step of prayer. It is when you ask him that he can give you. Are you here with me? When you are keeping quiet, nothing will happen. Nothing. Nothing. When you connect to God and ask Him, He will give you. God cannot act on your matter except you ask Him. I found out. Except you ask Him, He cannot act on your matter. May you receive grace. The Lord just opened my eyes. Now I saw a woman that has pain on the leg. While you, you were praying to people here, 
the Lord opened my eyes and I saw a woman that has pain. And when I saw that pain, you see, said it that a woman that has pain in the leg. Can I tell you? No matter how they pray for you, if you don't believe, nothing will work. And that is why we are struggling. That is why we remain where we are. That's why we remain where we are. Affliction can limit a man. Affliction will make you to labor without results. When a man is under attack, he will be laboring without results. No good that will come out of him. Anywhere they have caged your labor, anywhere they have caged your resources, in the name that's above every other name, I join my faith with my father in the Lord here. I speak to 25 of you. Now to the end of this month, you shall see results. I say 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 you shall see results. Lift up a head and shout hallelujah. The Bible says that this woman was buried for many years. I came to tell you this morning. I don't want any barrenness that have been in your life. I don't know anywhere you are buried. When somebody is buried, it cannot come to the house of God effectively. Are you with me? It is when you are fruitful, it is when you are full that you can connect to God. I get to make a declaration in the name that's above every other name. Anywhere you have been buried, spiritual and physically, financially, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy the 15 of you you shall receive your fruitfulness fruitfulness shall come 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 in the name of Jesus the woman was buried as she was in tears ah Benina was laughing at her Mali Parata when God answered this woman then that is where I'm going when God answered her she came with a song and said Yamana Mana my heart rejoices in the Lord my mouth is enlarged in that salvation I cannot close my mouth for what God has done to me he went for that and said talk no more exceedingly proudly by this time around she was talking to Hannah he said talk no more exceedingly proudly let not arrogance come out from your mouth because God is a God of knowledge and actions are ways by him can I tell you here if you are in a position to help people help them am I communicating somebody if you are in a position to help people help them never laugh at people when they are in problem are you here with me never laugh at people when they are in calamity if you are in position to help help them help them don't laugh at people when they are in problem don't laugh at people because they fall because a man every man the bible says in james chapter 1 verse 14 that every man is tempted every man including you and i every man is tempted when people fall don't laugh at them instead of laughing at them encourage them the bible said in galatians chapter 6 verse 1 he said if a brother be overtaken in the fault ye that are spiritual help him Help him. Help him in the spirit of meekness. Knowing that you also will be tempted. Are you here with me somebody? Knowing that you also will be tempted. When you are in a position to help. Help. Help people. Instead 
of mocking them, instead of laughing at them, Ayamana, instead of criticizing them, instead of talking on their back, help them and encourage them. Are you with me? Help them. Help them. Help them. Don't forget that Pelina was laughing at this woman. But her time has come. Oh, your time has come. Oh, let me tell your neighbor, my time has come. Help them! You are in the same church and something happened to your brother, happened to your sister. Instead of laughing, help them. Instead of mocking, help them. When they don't have good clothes, buy for them if you have the money. Are you with me? Don't come and say, you don't see this one, wake I buy. You, you feel buy this one? Can I tell you something? Present clothes are future rag. Are you here with me? Present clothes are future rags. Because every, every day things are, are, are coming new. Future act. Your future act. Instead of Pelina to help, she was mocking. And at this time around, God has showed Himself in the life of Hannah. God shall disappoint your enemies. I said God shall disappoint your enemies. If you believe what I'm saying, can I hear a better amen? Lord, lift me up and let me stand. From stable I have been when I have fell long past my years. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by the foot of the Lord. I am 
not alone. Nothing can shift me from God. Nothing can remove me from God. I will not leave God because all that leave him. I will not depart from God because all that depart from him. Trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. In all thy getting, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Trust in the Lord. I will not leave God because I see people leave him. I will not depart from him because all that leaves, I know where he picked me from. Am I communicating with somebody? I know where he encountered me because of the encounter I receive. I am different from you. Am I communicating with somebody? There is where there is something I see in God that you are not seeing because I am not learning the art of God. I am learning his ways. Learning his ways. I am learning his ways. Help me. 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 Pakatoata. Sabrakatetia. Ibana. Ezuvanada. Epanuati. Oh, I pray at the time. No matter what I see, I will remain in him. No matter these circumstances, I will remain in him. He is my source. He is my source. I cannot leave him. I can't be separated from him. No matter what I face, God is looking for people. No matter what they are passing through. No matter their difficulties. No matter their problem. People that can stand and say, I will remain in God. People that can stand and say, no matter what I'm passing through. I will remain in him. Are you with me? Because I am not alone. In that problem, you are not alone. In that circumstances, you are not alone. Am I communicating with somebody? And because you are not alone, you shall be vindicated. I say you shall be vindicated. In the name of Jesus. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. I don't want to leave your ways. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. My help has come. Help me, Daddy. God is looking for those that can be connected to Him so that He can teach you His ways. Because we are in the end time. The Bible says, When that time shall come, many, the love of many, shall wax cold. Many of you already, your love is wasting cold. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You know, I told somebody in my church, I said, When somebody is backsliding, they will be correcting him. He will feel his right. You don't know. Many of you, your love has was cold. Is this the passion you started with? Ask yourself. Many of you, you didn't give your life to Christ because of miracle. You were looking for miracle. No. No. Why are you backsliding? Why are you going back? Why? I came to ask you why. Why? Hannah! She didn't move back. She looked unto Jesus. No matter what she faced, she looked unto him. In the journey of Christianity, offense will come. In the journey of life, offense will come. Many people, even inside the church, will offend you. So that you will shift away from God. Anytime something happens in your life, have a designing spirit to detect what is going on. Because Satan is crafty. The Bible says a right lion. Moving to Seeking. We may devour. Hannah, the Bible said, she looked unto Jesus. No matter what she was facing. 
She didn't give up on God. Don't quit because of that affliction. Don't quit because of that problem. Quitting don't solve problem. Are you with me? Quitting, giving up on God, don't solve problem. They don't solve problem. Instead of quitting, hold on to the promises of God. The Bible says in the book of Numbers, chapter 23, from verse 19, God is not a man that he should lie. He's not a man that he should lie. He's not a son of man that he should repent. He has said it. He said, will he not do it? Look at it. Will he not do it? He will do it. He will do it. So don't give up because of what you are passing through. Don't give up because of your problem and your circumstances. Don't let problem call your love for God. Many of us, our problem have called our love for God. Instead of facing God, you are facing the problem. You are crying. Can I tell you something? Tears don't solve problem. Tears only gather people around you. Are you with me? Tears don't solve problem. You only gather people around you so that they will know what is going on. Rise up on your feet.
person. Anyway, because of my problem, I have shifted away from you. I am no longer consistent. I am no longer working with you. Help me. Help me. You need help. Help me. Help me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Help 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 me, Holy Ghost. I came to stay up the waters. I came to rededicate you to God. I came to drive you back to your sacred place. That is why I came. That is why I came. I came to renew your hunger for God. God sent me here that I will renew your hunger with Him. He sent me here. Ah, I go. Ah, I love the man. Of Galilee. Ah! 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 Thing shall be added lower whatever you are playing father unfortunately many of us have deviated from your way seeking our own pursuing things solving and fighting problems and afflictions instead of seeking your own and allowing you to do our own Father, here are these ones who want to reconnect back to you. It is not about assemblies of God. It is not about Reverend Okoji. It is not about any church. It is about you. For you said, they that know their God. You didn't say they or those who know their pastor. They that know their God. You said they shall be strong and they will do great things. Father, I ask today that you have mercy. Anyways, that they have slackened in their relationship with you. Anyways, they have slackened in their prayer life. Some of them used not to joke with all night. Some of them used not to joke with evangelism. Some of them used not to joke with what concerns you. But today, because of the quest for material things, because of commitment to the things that are not relevant, they have lost the passion. I pray today that you rekindle the fire. Let your amen be better. Father, from this service, raise up strong prayer warriors. Raise up men and women who will have passion for evangelism. Raise up people who will set the land on fire for Jesus. Thank you, Father, for reconnecting these ones back to you. 
Wherever they have fallen, wherever they have slacking, thank you, Lord, for bringing them back today. And leave them in your hands. They will go with this fire. They will go with this passion. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are sick, you have been afflicted, you have pain. God is the healer is here I want to pray for you God joining to enjoy the fast I love the man of God in you. For he has gone so bad. Put your hand in there, you are sick. Put your hand there. And be praying to God and tell God this affliction, this problem, let it come to an end. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. I make a declaration connected to the grace of my father, Reverend S. Okoji. And I make a declaration over every sickness is in your body in the name that is above every other name as you believe in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every affliction that have been in your life that have been in your body that have been in your system that have been in your legs that have been in your waist that have been in your head that have been in your eyes that have been in your body I make a declaration now. Let it go out of you. In the name of Jesus. I cause the root of that problem. Amen. The name that is above every other name. Every power channeling that sickness. The name of Jesus. I seize those powers. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the healing of God come in your body. Let the healing of God touch your body. Let the healing of God come to you. Let Jesus the healer appear to you. Amen. Let it solve your needs. Let it solve your problems. Amen. That problem in the waist, let it dry up. Amen. That problem in the legs, let it dry up. Amen. No matter what the doctor has said, Jesus is the great doctor and is the great healer. I ask that let Jesus, the great healer, visit you in the name of Jesus. Say, henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the mark of Christ. You are healed in the name of Jesus. If I touch you, just go and sit down. You are healed in the name of Jesus. You are healed in the name of Jesus, mommy. You are healed in the name of Jesus. I release grace of healing upon your life, upon your family, upon your system. 
Wheresoever pain you have, you are healed. I command restoration. She closed her. I command restoration. 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 In the name of Jesus. I command restoration. In the name of Jesus. I command restoration. In the name of Jesus. Before I go, I want to sincerely appreciate our Father and every one of you that have been supporting me even in my school. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord replenish your pocket in the name of Jesus. By the grace of God, I am graduating this year. Amen. And our Father has so much invested in me. My prayer is that I will not fail Him. Are you with me? I will not fail God and I will not fail Him by the help of Jesus. Mentors are mirrors.